Hey, what's up guys, back again with another video. So this episode I'm going to be teaching about um, returning objects. Last episode we learned about using objects as parameters, which is very similar, but yeah. So this time, um, remember how like past episodes we return, uh, you know, stuff inside of our methods and stuff like that? And uh, yeah, so this episode we're going to be doing the same thing, but instead of returning like an integer or a string or something like that, we're going to we're going to return a object. So um, yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, this whole video is just basically to show you that um, it's possible and how do you do it, basically. So, yeah, so we're going to make a class here. We're going to call it number. And, uh, yep, and number is going to have a number. So, integer number. That's going to be our only integer or variable. And then, um, yeah, so we'll, let's go ahead and give it a uh, constructor here. So, number. Oops. Number. Then we gotta pass in a number, so right, um, give, yeah, give me a number. So it's gonna ask the user for a number basically as a parameter, or we can't even do this. Good, so um, this dot number equals give me a number, so great. Now when they make a number, it'll ask for a value, and then that will be the value, basically. So yeah, that works perfectly. So um, now what we're gonna do is create a method here, and um, so we're going to call this method, um, well, actually what we have to do, remember when we ha return something in a method, we have to give it a uh, returning type, you know, before we even declare the method, right? So there, the, we're going to be returning an object, right? So we got to give it a type of, it's not going to be void, right? Because we're returning something. So it's going to be a type of number, which is the class name. So it's just like declaring a new a new object, right? So number blah, blah, blah equals new number, you know, something, something like that. So that's why it, it's going to be number, that's going to be the, the method data type. Number, um, let's call it uh, square. And it's going to, this is going to be a method that squares the number that, the number that we set, right? So, um, so there we go. So we're going to have this empty. We don't need that. So number square, okay. And it's going to return a object. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, here. So um, let's say... So what they're going to be able to do is do number dot square or object dot square because it's object and we're using we're calling the method of that object so object dot square and then that should return the new object. So let's go ahead and do something. So number temporary um, object equals new number. There we go. So inside of here we can do some stuff. So let's do something like this. Um, we're going to square the number of our objects, right? So let's do number, I mean this dot number times this dot number. And yeah, so obviously when you square, I mean times a number by itself, then that gives you the square of it, of course, right? So there we go. We have an object with a passed in value of our other object squared, right? That's pretty cool. So awesome. So then we can do, we're going to return temporary objects. So yeah, so if that's, a, if that's a little confusing, let's go ahead and uh, use it now. So number uh, friend, because numbers are your friend, equals new number, and it wants a number. OK, so it says give me a number. So it's demanding a number, so we'll give it a number. And we'll do friend dot square. And let's see what, what um, that does. So actually it won't do anything because all it's doing is returning something. It's not outputting, you know, it's not doing anything crazy. So it's not going to do anything, right? So running it won't do anything. So what we have to do is make a new object. So number equals, or no, number friend two, we've got to give it a name, equals friend dot square. So now hopefully you can see what we just did. We, um, we have a, um, original objects, right? And then we're calling the square method inside of our original object, and it's returning a new object. So we're going to set that temporary new object equal to the old object, or no, equal to our new object. So yeah, it's a little confusing to explain, but hopefully you see the parallel of it or whatever. Um, yeah. So now what we can do is, um, well, first let's do this. Um, well, I'll put this old number from first objects, like that. Then we can do friend dot number. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna 
to our getters and our setters. So code generate getter and setter. Then click OK. Now we have a getters and setters. So we're going to do uh, friend dot get number. Same thing, but oh well. So yeah, we already have it here. Um, old number from first object is five, right? So let's go ahead and call the second one. So we'll just copy this actually. Because I'm lazy. Friend two dot get number. Oh, we need to change this a second. New number from second object. And we're here, we get 25. That's good because we're passing in a number to our, our which is a random object. We're passing in a number, right? We give it a five, and then we're, ta we're telling it to square the number of the old object and put that into a new object to then pass in that new object into a new object, basically. <laughs> And so, yeah, so if this is a little confusing, just play around with it. It's pretty, 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 pretty simple. So, yeah, if you like this uh, video, leave a like if you liked it. And uh, what did I just say? If you like this video, leave a like if you like it. I guess that makes sense. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment if you need any help. And peace.